10 minutes. 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Wow. Today is December 15th, 2021. It's a Wednesday. It's 11.13 in the nighttime. I'm here in the office. And I wanted to make a video talking about a particular subject that is pretty controversial, especially at this point in time. <clears throat> it's probably the most controversial it's ever been. Not, um, just debating-wise, debate, like, brings out a lot of feelings within people. Um, I only have ten minutes, so that's all my phone's giving me, so I'm gonna try and say this in the shortest time as possible. I've, I've thought about this and making a video like this for a while um, on this subject. I've, I've touched on it like lightly in certain other videos where I'm talking about other things. Um, but I've never actually gotten really deep into it, which I wanted to do, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have time. And I'm just wasting time babbling on about how I don't have time. I'm just a little upset about that because I really felt like... I wanted to talk about it now, and it was going to be a good time, but whatever. I'll just say what the fuck I feel like until I get cut off, <clears throat> like I usually do. So, the topic that I'm going to talk about is basically gender. And... And how our personal, emotional, and mental circumstances shape our idea of what gender is and what, how we fit in that aspect. Um... First of all, before I get into this any further, I want to make it clear that I'm not in intending to offend anyone. Um, I really, really don't intend or hope to say anything offensive, but I am not making any promises because my perspective on, on gender, in a nutshell, equates to what we are naturally given at birth in our bodies and how how we view our natural bodily bodily state and what i mean by that is say for example if you're if you're a woman and you believe you are in the wrong body because you were meant to be a male for whatever reason, and you grow to dislike, you know, your breasts and your uterus, you know, the parts of you that make you a woman, um, then there's some sort of disconnect between what you were given, who you are physically, and what you feel about yourself internally. Obviously, right? There's some kind of disconnect there. Whether it, it goes into your personal trauma in this life or another life before you were even born into this one, I'm not going to get into right now because that's, I don't have enough time for that, first of all. And, and in reality, the whole point of it isn't that necessarily of, of what, what, you know, it's, it doesn't have much to do about what you what you feel about yourself or think about yourself in that particular moment in time you know because our feelings are extremely complicated all right they're not sometimes you know, we feel 
angry and and whatnot but in reality what we're feeling is pain is hurt and we just process it in a certain way we process it in a way that makes us feel more comfortable with ourselves and who we are so in that sense you know your mental and emotional mind doesn't only affect what gender you think you are but also what characteristics you have as a human being what kind of personality traits you're gonna exhibit to the world it has to do with all of that as well so <clears throat> so it's really about your your mental and emotional balance within yourself and how you feel within your bodies and i know you know most people are just trying to be considerate and loving and and thoughtful to the to the people in their lives that are going through a transformation a, a sex change or you know having these thoughts and trying to process them and figure out who they are but and people do this even though they disagree, you know, with with everything that that person is is doing or how they're living. Because it's coming off a place of love, you know. We just want to show that we love and accept them for whoever they feel they are. Um, and in reality, I feel like that's just damaging to to people to people that are confused about their sexuality and not sure, you know, really what to do in their life as far as what, where they should be sexually or gender-wise. Um, because it's a very, it's a very complicated subject. I mean, I've mentioned before, this is where I've, I've mentioned like briefly in other videos how I've had the thought before that I might be lesbian when I was younger you know I, I I thought I might be a lesbian because I had a certain you know perspective about myself and and I fit in more with guys you know I hung out better with guys than with girls I didn't really you know connect with with young girls as much you know as I did with guys I got along better with boys when I was younger so you know there was that confusion and then I just I wasn't as girly, you know, as as other girls. I like to play rough and I like to shoot guns and go hunting and, you know, do all kinds of boy stuff. Um, but I also like to do girl stuff too, you know. So I was not sure, you know. And, and then when you have that whole, you know, that whole arena around you that you're growing up in that makes you question, like, whether or not you are what you were born as and... You know, that it's okay to be not that. It makes you kind of more open to the idea of moving in that direction, you know. But, um, me, I didn't, I didn't go that route because I, I actually had relationships with men, you know, growing up, boys, and, you know, I, I, I liked it. I liked having that relationship. And the thought of being with a woman wasn't, you know, something that was appealing to me necessarily. You know, um, so I, I I figured that maybe, you know, I was I was just confused in my emotions. And, and now that I look back on it, I know that that's what it is. You know, I know that that's what it was. I just, I was confused because of how... I behaved essentially as a as a young girl and and how how the world around me was pretty much you know how it was like oh girls are supposed to be like this and boys are like this and you know it made me just feel not not a girl you know not fully woman essentially but you know I know I am now and I'm comfortable and I'm happy that I found out you know the truth of who I am and what I am and 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 I know that it's not right to feel like you should cut off a part of yourself, you know, or change a part of yourself because you're not who you feel like you should be, you know, because sometimes our feelings, even though they're they're there on the surface, we're feeling them, they're really not 
what we're truly like feeling inside which goes back to the anger and the you know hurt pain thing it's just it just evolves into something completely different and um sometimes people don't ever come back from that and i gotta end this video now because i'm reach reaching my limits